Assalamu alaikum and good morning everybody. So this is my first take on my humble coffee cut tour. So as you can see, I have this set up for quite a bit now. So I decided to do a simple tour of my machine and accessories. So I got this trolley and this light from IKEA. It's pretty neat. So put this switch here. So I can turn around this light here and there while I work my way to in making coffees. So first let's talk about the machine itself. So this is just a entry-level Breville the Infuser BS840 that came combo with this uh, Breville Dose Control Pro which is okay for the new guy like me. So, if you want to talk about this machine and the grinding setup, it might be on a separate uh, video. But for now, just to a tour on the setup that I've been using. Mm, this is a temper mat that I bought online. This is the temper that is that come with with the machine. Some of my glassware, as for espresso, large latte and cappuccino and this one is a temper box this one is uh, i made it myself from some whisk wood or plank or planks if you may say so this i bought online it's basically just a naked steel knot box this here is some of this the accessories Got the temperature to get the milk right. Cleaning brush, another cleaning brush, some dropper, and yeah, to do etching, latte up. Next, uh, we can go here. I have some napkins to clean the steam tip and stuff like that. Also, another napkin. This is the the filter which hold the filter basket is I think it's 54 mm if I'm not mistaken now it's on the single basket but you have a number of options there which sometimes I use sometimes I'm not using them so next is on the milk pitcher of milk jugs I have quite a few in fact I have four of them right now is the latest one the handless milk pitcher so basically this is the largest one i use for two cups this is the spot is a bit different but need some practice with this one and this is the one that came with the machine yeah so far this is like uh, the best that i used with so going down you know i have a uh, like homemade drawer where I keep a few of the cups and glassware, some flasks, some other brewing methods like the pour of a drip. And here is the maintenance box. Yep, you can see the spare filter for the water tank. Uh, the adapter to put the pills, which is the cleaning tablet. But Quite a few of them. This one is to open your steam tip. Yeah. And this one is to open your good head filter. Yeah. So talking about maintenance, uh, making coffee is one thing, but taking good care of the machine is a uh, very cheap and mm, entry level machine. Taking care of it is quite important, that's why I got this uh, maintenance sheet here where I create my own steps and then also in here oops, I print out all the cleaning manual from the original manual, copy them for easy reference cleaning the machine, cleaning the grinder Stuff like that. Yep, and some records of making espresso. Next, 
might be uh, this one. Another apartment where I store my skill. Yeah, digital skill. It's not those high end one, but still does the job for me. Turn it off. Going down, I have this guy, which is my travel kit. Yeah. I think I, I created one post in my Instagram, you can check it out. I call it the Apex Absolute Portable Espresso. <laughs> so inside here, I have like the brewing methods like the French press, the nano press some grinds that I bring along when I, I'm away from the workstation. Yep, so I have something to fold the milk. And as usual, a cleaning brush. So, I think, hold on. Next, we have on how I keep my beans. For Ely, I keep them in their own container. For those other ones, I bought this airtight, they call it airtight container with a valve but still I'm not 100% convinced that they can keep the air in so I maintain them in their own package zip, zip lock and just a double seal with this container it's pretty neat, come with a measuring spoon Yeah, I also have a spare water because sometimes you never know that when the water inside the tank runs out, you can put a maximum of 1.8 liters and minimum of 250. So I might put like a mirror or something later on just for easy checking of the water level because uh, keeping the water level above the minimum is critical for the health of this machine. Also, I have a notice board here of my series records. Uh, obviously, I did an update it and some important notes and some current land. Also, I did an update it. So, yeah, I guess that's about it for these updates. I might put or remove uh, some accessories as we go on. It's not, this is not the final and permanent one. So I hope you guys enjoy with this quick tour and I hope I can be an inspiration to those guys who love coffee, who appreciate real coffee and try to be their own home barista. Till then, keep calm, drink good coffee and devour good meats. Cheers!